What's up YouTube, Sonic Kevin here, and today I'll be going over some warm-up routine that I personally do and kind of help you understand why having a personally tailored warm-up routine is really good for developing muscle memory and how it will help you improve your aim. I'll share some exercises that I personally do before I hop into any gaming session on Valorant and also explain why I do these specific warm-ups. And maybe you can figure out what works best for you. I'm Psionic Kevin and you can follow me on Twitch and the social links down below. Now my favorite exercise is the pretty generic eliminate 50 armor on and uh, bot standing still and I just pick up a rifle like the Vandal or the Phantom and I just do short bursts on headshots and then strafe between each kill. I feel like this is the most natural type of exercise and I really hate standing still and just shooting targets without moving because I feel like that never happens in a game. I also don't practice spraying too much because I'm more of a Vandal user. So I prefer hitting those headshots in one or two tap bursts. Now if you're using the Phantom more and you spray a lot, then obviously you would just practice your spray pattern control over multiple bots as well. If you're new to this exercise with the Vandal, anywhere between 55 and 65 seconds is pretty good. Once you're more comfortable with the gunplay and the recoil reset, then you should really be hitting between 50 and 55 seconds. I also do this same exercise with the ghost pistol and armor off so I can hit one shot headshots and I kind of just practice hitting those headshots between targets and strafing between each kill as well. So for the ghost I would just add 5 more seconds to each time so for example if you're new anywhere between 60 and 70 seconds would be good and also between 55 and 60 if you're more comfortable. And the, the reason why the Eliminate 50 is one of my favorite is because you can kind of mix around different weapons and armor settings and kind of just practice each specific weapon for each set of 50. This will kind of force you to get to know the little characteristics of how to use each gun and you'll be more comfortable depending on what round you're on. For example, eco rounds or full buy rounds. Now, if you want to build more stamina, obviously just mark that up to eliminate 100 and do the same thing with whatever gun you're trying to work on. Strafing in between kills also forces you to work on your counter strafing timings and get more familiar with the recoil. People have asked me why I don't use the strafe option for the bots and the reason is that most people in game don't move the way those bots do. It just looks very unnatural and I feel like it's a way to develop bad habits against people who won't move like that. Now regarding the flicks training, I personally think that it's a good way to warm up your arm and kind of force yourself to move a bit if you're not comfortable with that yet. My main issue with using the flicks training with easy, medium, and hard settings to warm up is that you're flicking to every single target that you shoot and if you're doing that for every kill that you get in a game you probably have to work on your crosshair placement a little more that's why i really enjoy using the eliminate 50 warm-up routine because it kind of works on a lot of things at once like counter strafing recoil resetting and also spray control you can also use the training range to kind of experiment and learn how different weapons behave so for me, I can personally say that I've learned how to use shotguns in the classic pistol very consistently with different characteristics like the left click right click combo or the jumping right click for the classic. It's a good way to kind of figure out how guns behave overall. Now next up, if you're not familiar with the movement in the game, you really should take advantage of the KC course. It's like a little obstacle course that you do in the training range or outside of the training range, I would say. And if you're familiar with the movement techniques in this game, like crouch jumping and air strafing, you should be able to do this course within 5 minutes. I would personally add this movement course to your warm-up routine until you can consistently hit it under 5 minutes, and then turn it into an optional thing. This really helps build your fundamental understandings of what you can do with movement in this game, and it can really help you pull off some clutch plays. That's all I really do for warm-ups between games or before I start a gaming session. I hope you guys found this video informative and learned something new. And you should really focus on your personal weaknesses and tailor your warm-up routine for those needs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. On target. One enemy remaining. Nice hold, dude. Death is cold. Defenders win. The day is not our day. To